and the long and the long sing the kings of the mid-round. Sovereigns must change as the seasons go by. Each springtime is gladly crowned summer's warlord of glory, but autumn crowns in turn winter's lord of air and ice, and anon and anon sing the kings of the mid-round. Sovereigns must change as the seasons go by. Each springtime is gladly crowned summer's warlord of glory. But autumn crowns in turn winter's lord of ale and night. This is a sing-along, so it's time to warm up the audience. Sorry. So, <clears throat> those of you who are like, yes, it's a sing-along concert. Please repeat after me. One hand. One hand. One hand and two ducks. One hand and two ducks. One hand and two ducks, three squawking geese. One hand and two ducks, three squawking geese. One hand and two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters. One hand and two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters. One hand two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises. One hand two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers. Ditto! Yeah. One hand, two, two ducks, ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers, seven thousand Macedonian warriors dressed in full battle array. One hand, two, two ducks, ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers, seven thousand Macedonian warriors dressed in full battle array. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent Porpoises, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers, seven thousand Macedonian warriors dressed in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt. One hand, One hand two ducks, three squatting geese, four Liberty oysters, five corporate limit porpoises, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers, seven thousand Macedonian warriors dressed in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limber oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers, seven thousand Macedonian warriors dressed in full battle ray, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic, old men, onward, <laughs> pitch, north, propensity towards procrastination and sloth. Good night. <laughs> One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limber oysters, five corpulent porpoises, Six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers, seven thousand Macedonian warriors dressed in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates with a marked propensity towards procrastination and sloth. Last one. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four liver oysters, five purpling porpoises, six pairs of Don Alfonso tweezers, seven thousand Macedonian warriors dressed in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient secret crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates, more propensity towards procrastination and sloth, and ten lyrical, spherical, diabolical denizens of the deep dark den who locate, captivate, and eradicate quirky aquatic creatures. One hand, <laughs> two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick five corpulent porpoises, six, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers, seven thousand Macedonian warriors dressed in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates with a marked propensity towards procrastination and sloth. And ten lyrical, spherical, diabolical denizens of the deep dark den who locate, captivate, and eradicate quirky aquatic creatures! Give yourself a round of applause! Now, while we were doing that, 
Kieran was warming up his mind because he's got the first song. But before we do that, we should introduce ourselves. This is the House Sands Nelman Concert. I'm Master John Inching on the Tool. I'm Master Kieran Catter. This is, oh, this is. Thank I'm Lucia from the Midrealm. <laughs> My Maestro Lucia Elena Braganza from the Midrealm. <laughs> I am the wrong and honorable Master Darian Cordell. We will be joined later by Lord Di Girdur and Lady Liath. 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 What? Liath. 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 No T H. Liath. Very good. You got the first song. We're we'll standing behind you. Boy, the pain, baby. We have a little new. And now, a tale of, well, SCA mythology, actually. In an abbey on the coast of dear old England shores, an acolyte named Bunstable was told to do his chores. He did not have an inkling of just what they had in mind. Patron saint of fermentation, alcohol, beer, mead, and wine. Go the wine, the wine. No matter what may happen, you make sure that wine stays in. Go the wine, go the wine. Unstable, unstable. He was a simple soul. He was very bright, but he did his duty faithfully, morning, noon, and night. His tasks they were too complex, but that task ten. What in particular is simple? This is what his habit said. Go to the wine, go to the wine. No matter what may happen, you make sure that wine stays in. Go to the wine, go to the wine. Now we all got our wine. One fateful day, inviting raiders like a dark wave on the coast. The abbey was unable to repel the Norseman's host. Once the bowl was in the cellar, heard them slopping in the door, and the trembling with fear, he knew he'd do as he been told. Go at the wine, go at the wine. No matter what may happen, you make sure that wine stays in. Go at the wine, go at the wine. Now we all got our wine. The cellar door, it had a lot, but the Vikings would break through. To ruin it up around, he knew exactly what to do. He broke open each and every cast, he did not think of fight. And when the deed was done, he broke every drop in sight. Go the wine, go the wine. No matter what may happen, you make sure that wine stays in. Go the wine, go the wine. We all got our wine, like St. Bunce will be. When the Vikings came downstairs, they were somewhat less pleased that Bunstable had drunk the wine that was not to be seized. They threatened Bunstable with plague, but the fire let his breath. There was a great explosion, and the man all burnt to death. Guard the wine, guard the wine. No matter what may happen, you make sure that wine stays here. Guard the wine, guard the wine. We all got our wine, like St. Russell did. When the Vikings reached Valhalla, they were certainly surprised. And for his act of bravery, Bustable was canonized. It truly is a miracle to drink it as he did. And it is to his credit that he kept the wine well hid. Guard the wine, guard the wine. No matter what may happen, you make sure that wine stays hid. Guard the wine. Now we all got our wine like St. Bonsolo did. Well, I heard my tune, but the words were all wrong. Oh no, it's Darien. Well, I heard my tune, but the words were all wrong. I just can't believe what he's done in my song. And then, to my horror, the crowd sang along. Oh, no, it's Arian. His version had scansion that was erratic at best. Oh, no, it's Arian. His version had scansion that was erratic at best. With a few dozen extra descriptive words and syllables thrown in with the rest. With arrows and circles and paragraphs on the back of each one. Crowd sang to mumbles, he roared on with zest. 
Oh no, it's starting again. The Nanitun wavered, he can't keep the time. Oh, oh no, no, it's the story end. And then the tune wavered, he can't keep the time. The beat was inconsistent, and so was the rhyme. I truly believe that it should be a crime. Oh, oh no, it's the end. And in the last verse, he was changing the key. Oh, oh no, it's the end. And in the last verse, he was changing the key. He added a punchline, John. Good Master John. Oh, yes, sorry. Do you know why the Pelicans crossed the road? No, I do not know why the Pelicans crossed the road. You should have been at the meeting. The Queen was expecting you. <laughs> oh, oh. He added a punchline. The crowd roared with glee. <laughs> well, at least I can say that he filled it from me. Oh, oh no, it's sorry. Yeah. Whoops, there goes another melody. Whoops, here comes a Stoic's tragedy. Whoops, there goes another dog in Phil. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Oh. <laughs> it's time for the spear. Uh, oh. spear. Oh. This means you probably know what's coming up. That I promise Scholastica I am not going to break through the floor. Yes, we may die, but we die with our teeth in their throats. Yes, we may die, but we die with our blood on their swords. Yes, we may die, but we die with our name on their lips. Yes, we may die, and the reaper is near, and he comes a great swath, and he claims a great tide, but he's ours, so we stand by his side with no fear. And yes, we may die, but we know it, and we can die well. Yes, we may die, but we die with the wind in our eyes. Yes, we may die, but we die with the drums in our veins. Yes, we may die, but the war horns still howl and we rise. Yes, we may die, and we die in our prime, and old age cannot wither our arms or our blades or our pride. And our legends live long past old men, so yes, we may die, but we know it, and we can die well. Yes, we may die, but mere death is not always defeat. Yes, we may die, but mere life is not all we can win. Yes, we may die, but the blood of our line never pales. Yes, we may die and leave sweethearts behind, but leave sons and leave daughters to take up the sword and revenge. And our memories will push them like fire. So yes, we may die, but we know it, and we can die well. Yes, we may die, but we die on our feet, not our knees. Yes, we may die, but we die in our lines, not our beds. Yes, we may die, and the doors of Valhalla swing wide. Yes, we may die, and the short road to glory is paved with our blood, and the foe's broken swords, and it's ours, and the stars burn bright with our deeds. So yes, we may die, but we know it, and we can die well. Yes, we may die, but we know it, and we can die well. Uh, we should point out what the people are conquering the audience. This is my big wife, Mistress Bari Jai. And she has the book uh, with all the lyrics that people chose to supply to her, and if you didn't, you're just sort of on what? And we do that because Kirian and I are getting older and we forget words all the time. And especially tonight, we are tired. I, I don't know why Kirian would be tired, but I am tired because I fought like a young man today, and now I hurt like an old man. Uh, how many of you are armored fighters? Any armored fighters here? Oh, okay, alright. So I was on the battlefield, and we, uh, in the bridge battles, all five of them, uh, in my armor, and uh, I say that because this is a song about a bridge battle. I belong to a small army called the Midlands Army, and uh, we don't often get glory because it's a small group, so we get a lot of reserve uh, service. Sometimes we get traded to the other side, which is not really as much fun. Uh, we didn't today. 
Uh, but we rarely get those glorious moments. But this is a song about one time that we did. Because this particular bridge battle has an, had an alternate rule that is sometimes used, which is everybody has to use the bridges except if it's a shallow river and, and the, <laughs> the kings decide we have a shallow river. You can ford the river by walking on the knees. It's a stupid thing to do because <laughs> all the other team has to do is line up with spears and kill you when you try to stand. This time, one of those moments when, uh, when everything worked. This is called Ford to Glory. <clears throat> background rhythm is not <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the current's swift and the water's cold. Tall spearmen guard the other side. But the king commands Midlands cross the river now. Glory awaits us do or die, who bars? Glory awaits Midlands today. Was Ben in '36, and we were bored, cause a river barred us from the foe. While the heroes fought on bloody bridges three, our task. Was to stand in reserve, who bowed? His friends stood in reserve again. So we slacked and watched the melee meat grinder till our captains hatched a cunning plan. While the foe defends these bloody bridges three, we'll ford the river secretly, who bowed? We'll cross and crush their right flank friends. Well, that's never worked before, but what the hell? We'll die like Midlanders today. So we marched on down to that baleful riverbank and tested the waters with then cold hoopa, while taunting our foes with might and main. Although we joked and laughed, we understood that when word was given to attack, out of forty friends, but a handful would survive, and we die the river red with blood. Ooh, ah, the shore would be one with sorrow and pain. At last, the king's command came to advance through current swift and water cold. Back the foe's spears faltered and we rose upon the bank. The enemy's flank was ours to smite. Hoopa, when headstruck was I and my helm rang. I swooned and darkness took me when I woke. The day was done, the battle won. Out of forty friends, but a handful had survived. The fallen now prowl in Midlands, Lord Hoopa. Their legend lives on, our sons will say. Yes, the current's swift, sure the water's cold. Spearmen may guard the other side. But if the king commands, Midlands cross the river now. The glory awaits us, do or die. Bah. Glory awaits Midlands today. One of the casualties of the pandemic apparently has been my memory. All the old lyrics stay put just fine, but the new ones go right in, but no matter how deep you press them in, the tide comes along and watches for the way ten minutes later. So rather than make Margo to work for Bruce Dolan, <laughs> I'm going to cheat. Once upon a gulf. This past one, in fact, he had
had a rapier ravine battle, and our rest point was most inspiring. It wasn't a line on the ground. It wasn't a tree. It wasn't even a rock. No, it was Her Majesty. And in order to rest, the fighters would go up and fist bump the queen. <laughs> they talked about this a lot. It was fun. <laughs> Come forth, noble fighter, you're weary, I know. The foeman has slain you, their sword laid you low. But standing there proudly, her fist raised her high. A warrior queen, your death to deny. Fist bump the queen and return to the prey. Her majesty's blessing upon you to say. You'll rise from the dead down in the ravine. The battle is calling. Go fight for your queen. The line surges forward, then back through the fight. While flags first lit one way, then yield to our might. One island of calm in the main ace swirl. Our own sovereign rest point, her banner unfurled. Fish fought the queen and return to the fray. Her majesty's blessing upon you this day. They arise from the dead, down in the ravine. The battle is calling, go fight for your queen. That hill may get taller with each trip you take. <laughs> from rest point to foam and your boat starts to ache. Behind you our monarch stands all proud and keen. Our own living standard, that dragon's fierce queen. This of the queen and return to the fray. Her majesty's blessing upon you to say. They are right from the dead, down in the ravine. The battle is calling, go fight for your queen. This bumps the queen and return to the fray. Her majesty's blessing upon you to say. They are right from the dead. Down in the ravine, the battle is calling. Go fight for your queen! Draco! In So, moving away from the martial scenes, we bring you to the late night party circle. I was one of three doughty souls, yet sitting at 3 a.m. when two of the others, two of the three, the other two, began talking musicality in a technical sense. Left completely out of the conversation, what was I to do? but to pen a new song. <laughs> we be the bards at three, pardon and moi, we're making free the last handful left from a singing spree with several gallons of honey. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh, so merry we make with both bowl and tune. I've written a few, and I've nine more to croon. The weather's made fine this bright night of June. Now, I know you're thinking it's August, Darian. But after enough me? <laughs> <laughs> With several gallons of honey, me. We be the bars at three. Pardon and moi, we're making free The last handful left from a singing spree With several gallons of honey <laughs> This liberty taken with Lorelei Sky As I'm writing these lyrics, she's catching my eye I do love you, Darian, but this nonsense won't fly not even with several gallons of honey, me. <laughs> we be the bars at three. Pardon and quarrel, we're making free. The last handful left from a singing spree. With several gallons of honey, me. <laughs> <laughs> unreal me. So pipe down peasants will tell you this. Never you mind what sleep you may miss. 
Just come sing with us, and soon you'll be pissed with several gallons of honey. <laughs> we be the parts at three. Part the trois we're making free. The last handful left from a singing spree with several gallons of honey. Me. <laughs> <laughs> So Dorian says we're okay to sing. Pardon it, moi, but let the night ring. Make sure the proceedings are fine with your king. With several gallons of honey, me, <laughs> we be the hearts at three. Pardon it, moi, we're making free. The last handful left from a singing spree with several gallons of several gallons of several gallons of honey me. <laughs>
But if you look closer, you'll see the guiding light of my homeland, the where, the how, and the why. This place is what we make of it. Constellation is what we make of it. This dream is what we make of it. This dream we believe. This, this dream we This is about halfway, a little earlier uh, than halfway through the concert. I thought I'd throw this out. This is one of my most popular mm -hmm. pieces. And, uh, one that lots of other people sing when I'm not around. Red night falls and shroud is regal light. Pale sun Tall glimpsepter bright, grief and mirth in twain turn round about. Cry the exit of the dragon with the lingering shout. King bows before a fickle throne, prince comes into his own. Who next will don the dragon crown? Prove your mettle to the middle, dare to dance the golden round. Red night falls and shoulders regal light. Pale sun all the scepter bright. Grief and mirth in twain turn round the pot. By the exit of the dragon with the lingering shout. Newly rises like the morning dawn, fresh rain, auspicious old man's spawn. Both young start, battle born in blazes all. Make your mark on the ground, Lord, before the dragon slayer calls. Red light falls, and trial the tree go back. Pale sun all the scepter bright, grief and mirth. In winter, round the back, by the exit of the dragon with a lingering shout. Old leaves, that's an legendary dusk, burnt or empty amber husk. Yet, lands, Lord, feel the changing of the sire, yield your dragon monarch mantle to the air of crimson fire. Red night falls and shines real light. Pale sun, all the scepter bright. Grief and mirth, it twin turn round about. Cry the exit of the dragon with a lingering shout. King bows before a fickle throne. Prince comes into his own. Who next will don the dragon crown? Prove your mettle to the middle, dare to dance a golden round. Red night falls, and shrouded regal light. Pale sun, tall, quick scepter bright. Grief and mirth, in twain turn round about. Cry the exit of the dragon with a lingering shout. Cry the exit of the dragon with a lingering shout. I have some friends who have said they wish all those darn bards would stop writing and singing so many selkie songs. My friends, of course, are doomed. <laughs> because people have been writing and, su and singing selkie songs since, well, what do you know, the Middle Ages. It's far too useful a, meta a metaphor for a lot of things. And so I wrote this for all of my doomed friends. In a time lost to darkness, invasions were planned. Some came by the sea, and some came by the land. Some conquered with cunning, some raided by brawn. One aquatic invader 
invaded in song. They came from the depths of the edge of the map. That cracked the mollusk, the dread Tiamat. Not set the lapar, nor an electric eel. This aquatic invader resembled a seal. For songs about selkies are commonly found. Beneath their great weight, ocean cultures are ground. You cannot escape, even if they sink flat. Can't swing a dead selkie without getting a cat. <laughs> <laughs> a selkie's a seal that can shed off its skin. On land, it is human without fluke or fin. They'll claim they can't leave the bereft of their hide. A seal swimming skinless. <laughs> How undignified! In verses unending, they'll cry of their plight. A maritime medley that goes on all night. They pine for the sea while they're trapped on the shore. They'll drone on for days. They perform an encore. <laughs> for songs about selkies are commonly found. Feeling their great weight, ocean cultures are ground. You cannot escape. Even if they sing flat, can't swing a dead selkie without hitting a cat. <laughs> Along every coastline, their fishermen rise. They're bound in each town that is touched by the tide. They don't stay for long, huh, but good snacks are key. And it's hard to dump donuts while under the sea. <laughs> and so they remain while they pine for the deep. Sing unceasing songs and forever weep. What can they find here, not in depth marine? Along with those donuts, they crave their caffeine! <laughs> For songs about selkies are commonly found. Beneath their great weight, ocean cultures are round. You cannot escape, even if they sing flat. Can't swing a dead selkie without getting attacked. So don't swing that selkie, or you'll get a cat. <laughs> So this one time at Medieval Camp, <laughs> a lady who truly was, and is, fine and noble, turned to a young and impressionable Darian on the road and said, you know, young man, you sing very entertaining songs, and you write a wonderfully funny humor. It would be just special if you turned that talent to writing about things medieval. <laughs> A young and impressionable Darian, as I said, was <sighs> like that. <laughs> and what, I thought, could be more <clears throat> medieval than sibling rivalry? Yes. I give you six and four. Oh. Well, we are both sons of a grand duke. We have treasures and baubles galore. But get down on your knees and worship me truly. Cause I'm six and you're only four. <laughs> Our lineage is noble and ancient and stands from a far distant shore. But I want what's yours, it's mine by my birthright. Cause I'm six and you're only four. And hand over that big box of crayons, the ones with the big green, six and four. Cause mine are all broken and you don't deserve those. Cause I'm six and you're only four. When at last I come to my station, as many have oft done before, put my queen at my right hand. Sorry, John. <laughs> you can serve <laughs> my left boy and bring me a sippy filled up with the good stuff. Cause I'm six and you're only four. And I'm a hero, a legend of my generation. So clever and bold and right suave. Hey there, ladies, how you doing tonight? Are those real food trucks? <laughs> I'm a powerful giant. <laughs> you're the nearest of acorns. Cause I'm six and you're only four. Roll the change. 
Oh yeah, well that's just what you say. Go on, you six-year-old boy. Cause my mother's married to my only father. And your mom was my daddy's nanny 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 head. <laughs> Of Sherwood in the Nottingham neighborhood lived an outlaw who was good by the name of Ooh Righteous Robin Hood. Robin Hood, Ooh Righteous Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Ooh Righteous Robin Hood. While the king was out of town, Brad Prince Johnny stole the crown, taxed the people because he could, didn't count on he Robin Hood. Robin Hood, Robin Hood. A giant monk, a bard, of course, to fight and write and live in wood with Mary Band leader Robin Hood. Robin Hood, Band leader Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Band leader Robin Hood. The sheriff tried then Robin's tail with an archery match, but that plot failed. They buried said, be it understood. No one captures Green Ninja Robin Hood. Robin Hood, Green Ninja Robin Hood, Robin Hood. Green Ninja Robin Hood. Marion Webb, outlaw true, the king returned Prince Tom with food. Our story ends just like it should. Everybody, high five and Robin Hood. Robin Hood. High five and Robin Hood. Robin Hood. High five and Robin Hood. In the forest of Sherwood, in the Nottingham neighborhood, lived an outlaw who was good by the name of Ooh Righteous Robin Hood. Ooh Righteous Robin Hood. Ooh Righteous Robin Hood. Ooh. Righteous Robin Hood. Ooh. <laughs> oh, is that what you think? That's what we call that. Okay, you go right on ahead. People say I'm old-fashioned, but I'm with it. <laughs> good to know. Not really. But good to know. All right, we will now go from the ridiculous to the ridiculous, which for us is a very short trip. As I sing to you about a certain sad and sorrowful individual. Ladies and gentlemen, get your fingers ready. Oh, no. Sorry. That, that, that was a different song. I want a full moon of my sad tail of woe. Beauty a full moon, I go fur and a tail. This lunar link mess has me in distress, and at my misfortune I rail. Oh, oh, oh. Miguel and Sayama, he is a wear lama who sat in each on fire of this year he comes. For it is no treat to make hands for feet. You can't make a sun mess without thumbs. I saw a strange sight beneath full moonlight, a lone lama wandering wherever it chose. I tried to give chase, but it spat in my face, and then it bit me on my nose. Ow, ow, ow. The careless Sayama, he is a wear lama, who sat in each month by the beast he becomes. For it is no treat to trade hands for feet. You can't pay as a dance without bonds. The pain was colossus in my poor proboscis. I quickly fed sickly my body with them. My weight is to double all my diet in trouble. I started to eat grass and hum, 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 hum. Oh, so the so Sayama, he is a wear lama. Who sat and eats must by the beast he becomes. For it is no treat to trade hands for feet. You can't make us a mess without bones. My mind was so blurry with worry and hurry, my memory so mixed up from Mozzie Moiras. I woke scared to death with the worst morning breath and a mouthful of partly chewed grass. Yes, yes, bread! The girl is a yama, he is a well who sat in the front by the beast he becomes. For it is so treat to train hands for feet, you can't break past the nets without thumbs. So now I get pleased with it, and I sneeze, much to my unease. I'm allergic to woe. 
<laughs> my teeth I do gnash, cause I'm covered in rash, and dandruff makes bowel and fright bold. Oh, oh I is the Galaxyama, he is a wear lama, who sat in each month by the BC becomes for it is no treat. You trade hats for feet, you can't play cast on nets without bones. So do not be girt with a shaggy hair shirt. Steer clear of queer quadrupeds in the moonlight. Leave llamas like me, wear lycanthropy, or else you will share in my plight. Remember the Galaxyama, he is the wear llama, who stands in front by the beast he becomes. For it is a dream to break hands for feet, you can't play cast a mess without bones. One. More time! The Yerasayama, he is a well-la, who stands in front by the beast he becomes, for it is a reef to trade hands for feet. You can't play cast on a mess with a Sneaking off over there, the <laughs> and her, yeah, yeah, they're coming up. Um, and and her lovely husband uh, introduced me to the works of a fabulous English folk artist slash bard uh, named Talis Kimberly. And oh my heavens, we want to adopt her. We want to get her here. And uh, this is a fun song with a real singable chord. So I figured it would be great to share it with all of you. It's called Corn Jenny, and uh, yes, it also goes, it's kind of a partner piece to all the John Barley chords. Corn Jenny and John Barley corn lay down in a field of clover, nor any human eye could watch them settle where they may. The clouds did race, the clouds did run, between the green earth and the golden sun and the seed was set and the deed was done all on a shining day singing oats and barley and wheat and rye 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 Corn Jenny, shall we turn the year a little further into winter? Corn Jenny, shall we turn the year a little further into spring? Corn Jenny, as I weave you now, are you glad that I remember? Corn Jenny, does it make you smile that the harvest's gathered in? No, Corn Jenny, sweet Corn Jenny, let's dance while the summer waves goodbye. Corn Jenny, good Corn Jenny, with your oats and barley and wheat and rye. 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 Corn Jenny, did you see last night how the moon rose full to bless you? Corn Jenny, did you send your hands when the fields of stubble burn? Corn Jenny, with your golden crown, a ribbon bow to dress you. Corn Jenny, with your five in hand, your lesson gladly learned. Oh, Corn Jenny, sweet Corn Jenny, let's dance while the summer waves goodbye. Corn Jenny, good Corn Jenny, with your oats and barley and wheat and rye. 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 For to turn in a tight straw band, out and in and a flap to end. Damp the straw before you start. Mill the grain, but you weave the heart of oats and barley and wheat and rye. Oats and barley and wheat and rye. Oats and barley and wheat and rye. Oats and barley and wheat and rye and corn 
Jenny, sweet corn Jenny, let's dance for summer, waves goodbye. Corn Jenny, good corn Jenny, with your roots and barley and wheat and rye. Oats 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 and barley and wheat and rye. song called The Blackbird, but it was a young woman's song, and I always felt rather silly singing it. It just, it, it felt out of place, so I have recast it as the old Blackbird. Yes. <laughs> I am an old woman, my story's been told, but once I was courted by Saber Lambo, he courted me strongly. Blackbird, I whistled and sung. I'd have followed the vessel that my true love sailed on. And in the dark rigging, out of their built my nest, I'd have fluttered my wings round his lily white breast. Oh, he promised to bring. My hand when he left for the sea with my feet on the land. He promised sincerely myself so naive. I nodded, kissed him, and chose to believe. <coughs> oh, the Bible was a blackbird. I was so light a song. I'd follow that vessel, but who would save them? And in the dark room, why do they build my nest? I'd have put my wings round this lily white breast. After three lonely months, I began to feel ill. My mother, suspicious, she beat me until I confessed to my weakness and I begged her forgive. But she turned me away with no care if I lived. Oh, I was a blackbird, a missile light a sun. I'd follow the vessel, my true love sailed on, and in the dark room, I never built my nest, I'd fluttered my wings round his lily white breast. I worked as a scullery from my bed and board. I walked with my head down, I spoke not a word. After nine lonely months, I gave birth to a girl. But she cried not, she breathed not, I buried my pearl. Oh, I was a blackbird, I'd always invite a song. I'd have followed that vessel, my true love sailed on, and in the dark room, I'd have built my nest, I'd have lifted my wings round as me I chose not to marry, despite many in the hopes that my true love might come back to me, I would run to the harbor, forgive his delay, and to church we would travel on that very day. Oh, if I was a black boy, I'd always hold us up. 
For ships on the sea, the one with my sail never came home to me. Perhaps it was sunk in the rough of the storm, or perhaps he found succor in some other's arms. Oh, I was of a lot. I'd whistle, I'd a song, I'd a follow the vessel, my true love sailed on, and to the top of the river, I'd a thing built my nest, I'd a fluttered my wings around his lily white breast. Said Lou to soul and mess. Love is nothing but a monthly quest. A puzzle game amaze a crazy duel. And she keeps changing all of the rules. Waking slow to gentle dawn lies, revealing visions of pure delight. You need to love to realize we've just entered the labyrinth of life. Once we open the gate, and the die has been cast. No one but us to blame. We should play till the last. But he won't follow. And we have a clue. What to do? Said Lou to soul the mess. Love is nothing but a motley quest. A puzzle game amazes a crazy duel. And she keeps changing all of the rules. In the bright glare of noon sun, we catch a glimpse of how the games run. But greater knowledge means less fun. Responsibility's all we have won. In the midst of the rain, when there's all stuff to tire, ever increasing pain, there's the stakes ever higher. We can win if we choose, do we care if we lose? Just we two, said Lou to soul the mess. Love is nothing but a monthly quest. A puzzle game amazes a crazy do, and she keeps changing all of the rules. Gazing forward toward dusk glow, watching our life rings flow. Taking turns until tomorrow, counting down to the infinite goal. When at last it is time, when the thing to be done, let our pieces combine. Two could exit as one, cause I haven't a clue, no I haven't a clue, what without, without you, <laughs> said Lou the soul of man. Love is nothing but a motley quest. A puzzle game amazes a crazy duel, and she keeps changing all of the rules. Said Lou to soul the man. Love is nothing but a motley quest. It's not the winning, but the playing school. Give me your hand. Let's change all the
fun up here on stage. It's, it's a nice little vacation. From where I live, which is around the Bardic Circles. As I mentioned earlier, I'm generally about the last one at any given Bardic Circle I attend, to the best of my ability. And when it's dying down, when perhaps even the original hosts have gone to bed, I'm the one pleading for just one more log on that fire. Place a new log on the fire. Let it shield the embers burn. Let that catch anew and brighten. Ere we see our circle go. One more log. We are huddled in the darkness. Gather close against the night. Tell us stories of the sunshine birthing from the fire's light. Words to share your tales. All the images of fable, myth, and legend, caution, lore, history, and epic are the things we come here for. So do not let them fade away. Place a new log on the fire. Let it shield the embers glow. Let the catch in you and brighten ere we see a circle go. Tail, one more tail. We are gathered here in friendship, caring not for rain or snow. <laughs> Days of summer warming when the winds of fall would blow. Sing and share your tunes. And he saw me bring a story, message, feeling, whole new worlds. Each note and word transporting us, new banners rise unfurled. So do not let them fade away. Place a new log on the fire. Let it shield the embers glow. Let that catch you and brighten. Here we see a circle go song, one more song. We are bound here by the circle, find our muses by its light. Recite for us, O poet, scorn the wrong and praise the right. Rhymers share your verse. Scheme and stanzas offer structure into which you pour your soul. You shine a light right through our hearts, blazing flames from dying coals. So do not let them fade away. Place a new log on the fire. Let it shield the embers glow. Let that catch in you and brighten. Ere we see our circle go. Oh, one more poem. Place a new log on the fire, let it chill the embers glow. Let that catch you and brighten, ere we see our circle go. One more log. And over the mist comes the piper. <laughs> That's always the quietest part of the show, uh, <laughs> inevitably. Yeah, Perhaps it's Brigadoon. Brigadoon? <laughs> yeah. It's usually uh, Julian who's telling a story when the piper walks by the tent. My turn, okay. Hi, Dolan. Oh, what time it is. Wow. It's time for a song about... Sorrow and fear, destruction, heartache, and tragic loss. This song is from Galatier. Heroes fight yet brave, hopeless odds they divide. All of their valor does some to naught. In the end, everybody has died. <laughs> Death to and blue. Misery, sorrow, and fear, destruction, heartache, 
and tragic loss, this song is from Palantir. Beautiful maiden galore, some of them purchase the head, some not. Whether it's day sitting or simple, their end is the same, they lie in a churchyard plot. Death, doom and gloom, misery, sorrow, and fear. From Palantir. No matter the spirit of the hill or how hard the shield wall strives, the Saxons are tasting again and again, and nobody ever survives. <laughs> Death, doom, and gloom, misery, sorrow, and fear, destruction, heartache. This song is from Galantine. Both betrayer and the betrayed, both the evil and the good, whether moral or if, oaths or more, all of them now are not put. <laughs> Death, doom and gloom, misery, sorrow and fear, destruction, heartache and tragic loss. This song is from Calendar. Everyone slip their own wrists or fall down upon their own words. Nobody lives, nobody loves, and nobody ever gets death to the moon. Misery, sorrow, and fear, destruction. in the SCA, so she would make me costumes periodically. And I love this because uh, when I picked up the material for her, and then she said, Jim Long, and I happen to have something in black and white, so she made this thing. And if you look closely, there are palm trees. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, is that all right? I think, sure. Is that all right? <laughs> That's bad. So you're ready for a Where life. else but the tropics would you want to do the SDA? <laughs> so. As a long man in town, sleeper kings of the mid-round, sovereigns must change as the seasons go by. Springtime is gladly crowned, summer's for a lord of glory. But autumn crowns in turn, winter's for the pale and dies. Long, long ago, when the dragon first awakened, to find all his lands filled with boulders and he fear. Worm laughed with wicked laugh as if the rumors were spoken that every mid realm king reigned but half a year. And now and now sing the kings of the mid realm. Sovereigns must change as the seasons go by. In springtime is gladly crowned, summer's for a lord of glory. 
autumn crowns in turn, winter snow and ice. Our present king looks down from the throne so long on him. He fought and planned for years, now he wonders at the cause. What fool desires such a heavy crown of burdens? For knowing that his reign lasts until the autumn was. And the now, and the now, sing the kings of the mid realm. Sovereigns must change as the seasons go by. It's springtime, it's gladly crowned, summer's forlorn of glory. But autumn crowns in turn, winter's born of hail and ice. The dragon thought his spell would enslave the mid-realm's people. How could they not despair if they were to doom to fall? But years passed, and kings reigned in unbroken line, undaunted. And now the worm must serve at the settler's beck and call. And the noun, and the noun, sing the kings of the mid-realm. Sovereigns must change as the seasons go by. In springtime is gladly crowned, summer's forlorn of glory. But autumn crowns in turn, winter's lord of ale and ice. And anon, and anon, sing the kings of the mid-realm. Sovereigns must change as the seasons go by. Each springtime is gladly crowned, summer's forlorn of glory. But autumn crowns in turn, winter's lord of air and ice. Come on, we need to sleep.